Um, there's been a surge in bee swarms across the country, with beekeepers even running out of equipment as they struggle to keep up. Swarms are how honeybee colonies split up to produce new ones. The cold spring followed by hot spell has led to a huge increase in numbers. Amy Welch reports from Manchester. The bees are back in town, quite literally. These were the scenes in Manchester when the sunshine saw swarms of thousands attach themselves to a city centre lamppost. Meanwhile, another colony dropped in on a nearby coffee shop and beekeeper Gareth Traherne was called in to save the day. It has been a big year for swarms. We've been called to about 40 swarms. How does the weather affect swarming? Bees uh, would prefer to swarm on a warm day because if they get caught out in the rain it can make things difficult for them. Uh, and as you know, we had a really long period of good sunny weather in spring, which is why I think uh, the hives kept swarming over and over again. The worker bee is well known as a symbol of Manchester's hard-working industrial past. But it's not just residents here having to deal with the real thing. This shopping trolley in Warrington became home for one swarm. On the Isle of Wight, a wheelbarrow moved these bees to safety. And a cluster in a tree on a Newcastle housing estate had to come down. So this is a swarm happening right now? It is happening right now and if we walk they will have headed for the chestnut tree and they're just beginning to cluster. Swarms happen in warm weather. Hives become busy and overcrowded and honeybees start looking for a new home for their queen. Got a very important lady on this side. She's this year's queen. Are we going to see a second spike in swarms this summer? You've got hot thundery weather and the bees are going mad. The queens are laying there's a lot of very large colonies. Yes, we probably will. If you see a swarm, the advice is not to panic and call the professionals. And with temperatures set to rise, they might be in places you least expect. Emu Elch, ITV News, Manchester.